and his husband told us, there is no making amends. This interview with Anna is from 2009. The way she was taken from us just wasn't fair. Too young, she had too much more to do in her life. Cassie Jo Stoddard. Responsible, caring, kind, even to those two high school misfits. Her loss, a wound all the regret in the world can never heal. That's all for this edition of Dateline. We'll see you again Friday at 9, 8 central. And of course, I'll see you each weeknight for NBC Nightly News. I'm Lester Holt. For all of us at NBC News, good night. Weather Watch 12, weather from where you live. On NBC 12, this is News Watch 12 Weekend. Good evening, I'm Jake Force. A new defendant has been added to the class action lawsuit that accuses the parent company of the Rhinelander paper mill of disposing of toxic waste containing PFAS chemicals onto farmland in Oneida County. It comes six months after a group of Stella residents filed a lawsuit alleging that the disposal of the chemicals seeped into wells and contaminated their drinking water. On February 9th, those residents amended their complaint to allege that Wausau Paper, the former owner of the Rhinelander Mill, was also responsible for the contamination. The mill's current owner, Swedish energy company Alström Mungschau, as well as the 3M Corporation, who sold the plaintiffs alleged, the alleged chemicals to the paper mill, will both remain defendants in the suit. Some wells in Stella have the highest PFAS levels ever detected in the state of Wisconsin. Surface water has also been affected and the DNR has recently issued new guidelines for consuming fish out of both the Moen chain of lakes and the Hat Rapids flowage. In Minnesota, two police officers and a firefighter were killed responding to a domestic violence call just before 2 a.m. Sunday morning. Authorities in Burnsville, right outside Minneapolis, say officers were responding to an incident with weapons. It's unclear what happened next, but one SWAT vehicle at the scene had multiple bullet holes in its windshield. Investigators say the firefighter who died was providing aid to one of the officers. A number of other officers who were injured were taken to a trauma center. Governor Tim Walz calls the incident horrific, adding, quote, we must never take for granted the bravery and sacrifices of our police officers and first responders make every day. Agents with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms and Explosives are now involved with the investigation. The U.S. says it conducted five strikes against anti-cruise missiles and vessels belonging to the Houthi rebel group in the Red Sea on Saturday. This is the first time the Houthis have used an unmanned underwater vessel since the start of the group's recent spate of attacks in the region, according to U.S. Central Command. Meanwhile, dozens were killed in an Israeli airstrikes that hit central Gaza on Saturday, according to doctors at Alaska Martyrs Hospital. Rick Damagella has the latest. The U.S. military has conducted a new round of strikes against Houthi rebel targets in the Red Sea. These new strikes include targeting what U.S. Central Command says is the first unmanned underwater vessel the Iranian-backed rebel group has used since the attacks in the Red Sea began. Meanwhile, dozens were killed in central Gaza after Israeli airstrikes struck there over the weekend. The World Health Organization and the Hamas-run health ministry in Gaza says the largest medical facility in Gaza is now out of commission following an Israeli raid. Hamas has turned hospitals into command and control centers and hideouts for Hamas terrorists and commanders. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says he will press on with plans for a ground operation in Rafah. Whoever is telling us not to operate in Rafah is telling us to lose the war. Cries for a humanitarian ceasefire are also growing louder as a looming ground offensive gets closer. The Security Council should shoulder its responsibility and act immediately on stopping the fighting. Roughly 1.5 million people are living in Rafa, many of them sheltering there and in desperate need of essentials. I think if I'll get worse today or not, and then I think about 
Uh, food. Will we eat? Will we gonna eat food today or not? I'm Rick Damagella reporting. Conrad, the snow has come back, but yes. will it stay? Not for long, Jake, not for long. I know it's winter, right? It should be, but it's not, unfortunately. Taking a look outside, five inches of snow here in town, two in Wausau. Down by Green Bay, it says zero, but they do have around one to two inches. And then south of that, a little bit more than that. But the snow is not going to be here for long, especially with these warmer temperatures starting to make a comeback very, very soon. Overall, though, for now, we're pretty clear. Just a few passing clouds. Of course, right up into the UP, we got a little bit of lake effect snow showers going on. Closer to Marquette, Houghton is getting in on some lake effect snow showers, but no surprises there. They're kind of used to that, right? Earlier today, though, high temperatures slightly above average. We saw 30 here in town, 28 in Eagle River, right up into the UP. Same story, mid to upper 20s. And then right down south, Merrill, Wausau, to Mosinee, temperatures were hovering near freezing. Our history, though, the last couple of weeks have been incredibly warm. The last two days, though, we've seen below average temperatures. And the warm-up is on the way. Tonight, though, very cold temperatures back in those single digits. Jake? Thanks, Conrad. Flowers that were laid in Moscow in honor of Alexei Navalny, a Kremlin opposition leader and anti-corruption activist, were removed overnight by groups of unidentified people after Navalny's death in a Russian prison was reported on Friday. Matthew Chance has more from St. Petersburg. Well, the authorities here in Russia are now removing any trace of the makeshift memorials to Alexei Navalny that have been appearing across the country since his unexplained death in a Russian prison. Videos on Russian social media show plain clothes, sometimes hooded men, clearing flowers and photographs from public monuments, often stuffing them into bid bags. There's now also a heavy police presence, I can tell you, here in St. Petersburg to prevent anyone laying more tributes to the late opposition leader. But many Russians are shocked and angry. Across the country, rights groups say hundreds of people have now been detained from publicly paying their respects to Alexei Navalny. Police taking mourners away by force. In a clear message that even this kind of dissent in Russia, the laying of flowers, the public expressions of sympathy for Alexei Navalny, well, that won't be tolerated. Even if you just walk with flowers on the city streets, you're instantly seen as carrying a political message and feel the judgment of people. Well, there's also growing concern now at the whereabouts of Alexei Navalny's body. His mother, Ludmilla, traveling to the remote polar town in northern Russia to try and recover her son. But she's apparently been told his body will only be handed over for burial once another post-mortem has been completed. Members of Navalny's anti-corruption campaign, which is of course banned here in Russia, now accusing Russia of hiding his body and of course hiding the real cause of his sudden death in Russian custody. Matthew Chance, CNN St. Petersburg. A local restaurant owner is offering a glimpse into what the American dream looks like. Newswatch 12's Austin Carisu will have more after Weather with Conrad when we come back. At Lens Truck, we're all trucks all the time. Nobody has a better selection of used trucks. Ford, Chevy, Ram, GMC, over 800 of the best used trucks money can buy. Buy now and get the highest trade-in value ever at Lens. Go to LensTruck.com. That's LensTruck.com. Lens Truck. Lens Truck. We got the trucks at Lens Truck. Stretch your tax refund by shopping at Home Furniture and Design. We pay your tax. Shop our entire showroom and we'll take care of the tax on your purchase. If you don't have your tax refund yet, ask about special financing. Why wait? Shop for any room in your home. Stretch your tax refund at Home Furniture and Design and we'll pay your tax. Come see us today. The sweetest place in town, the country store of Eagle River is known for its quality candy. Made the old-fashioned way, slow-cooked in large copper kettles, then the candy is cooled on marble tables. Embrace the sweet aroma of your favorite candies, chocolates, fudge, brittle, turtles, snappers, almond bark, taffy, and hard candies. Don't forget to make a stop for the best hand-dipped ice cream around. 
Treat yourself at the Country Store of Eagle River. Hi, we're Tim and Judy from Tomahawk Mining and Company. When we want the forecast for Tomahawk, we go to WJFW.com and check our hometown weather. Your hometown weather, available 24-7 at WJFW.com. When the owners of Kelk Land Improvement and Kelk Septic Service of Woodruff want the forecast for the Northwoods, they go to WJFW.com and check their hometown weather. Available 24-7 at WJFW.com. Hopefully you had a wonderful weekend and welcome back. It is Sunday. Good evening, but a cold, cold Sunday out there. Take a look at this. Temperatures right now, 10 degrees in town, 7 in Eagle River, even colder at Pusho. Cooler air right up into Lando Lakes, uh, of course, into the UP. Single digit temperatures, a lot warmer south of Wausau, of course, Shawano, Green Bay, back in those low to mid 20s. So not too bad, pretty much in central and southern Wisconsin. But the winds are pretty calm, a little bit of a breeze here in town. Same story closer to Wapaka area. Mosinee is at six miles an hour. But overall, though, we are all seeing pretty calm winds, but really cold temperatures with these feels like temperatures back in the single digits in some spots and then right into central wisconsin not bad at all they are back in those 20s now everybody cooled off even florida take a look at this jacksonville not going to the beach at 48 degrees no way 56 in tampa area and they saw even cooler weather earlier today so it is really chilly all the way down pretty much right by the gulf coast new orleans houston is back in the 40s right now so they're definitely bundled up and ready for this cold not for long, though. We are getting this push of warmer air tomorrow. Above average temperatures. And look at this. 40s back by Tuesday, Wednesday into Thursday. Possibly near record highs by Wednesday. But central and southern Wisconsin will get into those 50s. So get ready for that. It is going to be very mild. And then cold front comes in Thursday night. We really cool off by Friday. And not for long, though. Right back into the 40s by the end of the week. And then into the beginning of that following week. And then past that extended forecast we are looking at well above average temperatures right in the center part of the country right up by the canada of course we are close to that as well and then even the northeast right up the eastern seaboard down into atlanta florida we are still looking at above average temperatures that will be continuing pretty much right through the end of february and then into beginning of march it's just been that type of winter wow incredible stuff in general though for now we're seeing some mainly clear skies a couple of flurries and lighter snow showers up into the up marquette into houghton same story into the michigan area we are looking at a couple of scattered snow showers but nothing to worry about for us take a look at this the next seven days Pretty much no precipitation for us. So we will continue to see that dry air and well above average temperatures continuing to stick around. Wow, definitely a winter to remember. Winter or spring, right? Just been that type of winter. One degree overnight tonight, mostly clear skies and very cold temperatures. Look at that wind. We're going to continue to stay calm. So with calm conditions, clear skies, cold temperatures, we're going to get that radiational cooling, all that cold air rolling up from the atmosphere down into the surface. That's why we are looking at some isolated spots definitely below zero degrees by tomorrow morning. And then we're going to rebound nicely back into the mid-30s tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies and a very light breeze out of the south, only at around five miles per hour. Our seven-day outlook brought to you by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress. Check this out. Well above average temperatures continuing the next several days. Friday, a little bit cooler, and then right back into the 30s and 40s by next weekend. Jake? Thanks, Conrad. A former counterintelligence official with the FBI will serve additional time in prison for a second crime he committed. A judge sentenced Charles McGonigal to an additional 28 months behind bars on Friday after he pleaded guilty last September to accepting cash from a former Albanian intelligence employee. McGonigal previously pleaded guilty to a separate crime for his association with a Russian oligarch. During a hearing last August, McGonagall admitted he was guilty of money laundering and violating U.S. sanctions against Russia. A judge sentenced him to 50 months in prison for his crimes. McGonagall will serve his two sentences consecutively, so he is facing six and a half years in prison. 
During his 22-year tenure in the FBI, McGonagall oversaw national security investigations at New York's field office. The South Carolina hunting estate belonging to convicted murderer Alex Murdaugh has been sold again. The home with more than 5,000 square feet and 21 acres sold for $1 million. It was up for auction by J.P. King Auction Company and Crosby Land Company. The estate originally sold last year for $2.6 million, but those owners decided to sell the property. The identity of the out-of-state buyer has not been disclosed, but there are plans to develop it as a horse farm. The property became a crime scene when Murdaugh's wife and son, Maggie and Paul, were shot and killed there in 2021. Murdaugh was convicted of their murders and is serving a life sentence. While starting your own business can be a very challenging process, doing it in an entirely different country can make it even more difficult. Newswatch 12's Austin Carisu spoke with the owner of a restaurant in Woodruff from Thailand to learn more about her story of starting her own eatery. How much I can see customer reaction to the food, to the place, and to us. Nui Coffee House, located in Woodruff, is owned by Tim and Nui Schrader. The coffee shop serves a mix of authentic Thai and American style food and beverages. We've been here about well, two years in the building with our other business and then um, last year we were working on getting the cafe up to, uh, ready to go and then last year we opened for three months in the end of, end of summer yeah. and we were just trying to get a feel for what people wanted. Nui immigrated from Thailand to Chicago in October of 2009 to pursue a dream of opening up her own restaurant to share her recipes with different customers. It is because customers come and just they come and just they can say thank you enough to us too that how special how it's very special that everyone come and they give hugs you know and they they shout out to the kitchen when I was inside like oh no some some like that it just feels so special. And the number one thing that Nui and Tim love about having their restaurant located in the North Woods is the community that supports them. Loyalty customers become more like family to, to us because they keep coming, calling our name, we we call, we remember all their name. I don't know. We and come, everybody seems to know each yeah, other. Every, <laughs> yeah. Someone will come in five minutes after very the Very supportive. Everyone very supportive. Reporting in Woodruff, Austin Carisu, Newswatch 12. We'll take a break, but when we come back, a new drug that can treat frostbite has been approved by the FDA. We'll learn more about it next on Newswatch 12. Dear Winter, our squad of vehicles with all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive is ready. Bundle up, Toyota. Get 4.99% APR for 60 months plus 1,500 cash back on Tundra Hybrid. Toyota. Let's go places. A lot of law firms claim to be experts at handling injury cases that involve large trucks. But handling one trucking case does not make you an expert on the subject. Experience matters in these cases. One local firm has handled 25 trucking cases which resulted in payments over $1 million each. And hundreds of others as well. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation hometown service ready set go boat show boat show boat show can't wait to get on the water then get to the biggest and best boat show only at american marina motorsports in shawano we're matching deposits up to one thousand dollars or we will beat any competing price by 500 bucks don't be left out in the cold all year get your new boat at the upcoming american marine boat show february 22nd through the 25th shawano when you bank with People State Bank, you're never alone when it comes to your finances. In fact, in a recent survey, customers said our bankers were helpful, flexible, and willing to work with their situation more than any other response. So if you're going it alone with your bank, we invite you to join our community and experience what it's like with People State Bank on your side. Visit us at bankpeoples.com. Dear all-wheel drive, let's show the road what we've got. Yours, Toyota. 
Get 3.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Camry. Toyota. Let's go places. Welcome back. Yale University is formally apologizing for its historical ties to slavery. On Friday, the university published the findings from the Yale and Slavery Research Project, which began in October of 2020. According to a statement, the findings showed some of the university's founders and early leaders owned enslaved people. The oldest building on campus, Connecticut Hall, was also built using enslaved labor. The university also says that some prominent members of the Yale community joined with local leaders in 1831 to stop a proposed college for black youth. Some of the new actions announced by the university include expanding research partnerships with HBCUs and a new program that would fund the training of local public teachers. Brutal winters and the cold that comes with them can lead to frostbite. But just this week, the FDA approved a first-of-its-kind drug to treat frostbite. Gordon Severson reports. I think this is pretty significant. At Regents Hospital, doctors see some of the worst frostbite cases imaginable. Cases where patients lose fingers and toes. If you lose your thumb, that's a life-changing injury. Dr. Alexandra Lacey says a new medication just approved by the FDA will help doctors save more of those fingers and toes. The drug is called Iloprost. Dr. Lacey says the drug is given to patients through an IV. So it makes the blood vessels get wider and allows more blood to be delivered to the tissue. You can see in this frostbite patient, their blood isn't getting to their toes. But Dr. Lacey says together with clot busting medication, this new drug can widen the blood vessels so the blood can get in and heal this damaged tissue. Right now, on average, our treatments save about 80% of tissue that was damaged by severe frostbite. But with this addition, we're hoping to get closer to, you know, a 90 or even 100% salvage rates would be the goal. In a recent trial, the FDA says frostbite patients were separated into three groups. The group that didn't receive Ilopros, 60% showed signs of possibly needing an amputation. The group that received Iloprost and another medication 19% showed those same signs, and the group that received only Iloprost, 0%. Reading about these papers in other countries, I've been jealous that they have access to the drug and we haven't. So I'm excited that's going to be an option for our patients now. The high school basketball playoff brackets were released today. Drew Chelly will tell you where the area teams will be playing after the break. Buy three Goodyear tires and get one free during the Leap Year deal at Sherrill Tire and Auto Service. Plus, get up to $200 back on a select set of four installed tires when you use the Goodyear credit card. Buy three and one is free in February. Sherrill Tire and Auto Service. Find your location at SherrillTire.com. Northland Basement Systems is the all-things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces, too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. Hi, I'm Jessica White Wayne Clark from Ho Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. When I want the forecast for Wittenberg, I go to WJFW.com and check my hometown weather. Your hometown weather, available 24-7 at WJFW.com. Hey guys, check out all this delicious, locally roasted coffee. That's why the best way to start your day is with a cup of coffee from Eagle River Roasters. Newswatch 12 today wants to get that coffee to you through the Mugshot Monday contest. Are you ready to make a difference? The Aging and Disability Resource Center of Oneida County needs your help. Give the gift of a ride to a medical appointment, deliver a meal, or help repair it. These are just a few of the opportunities for adults 55 and older to volunteer through the Retired and Senior Volunteer Program. At the ADRC, your time and compassion can change lives. Contact our RSVP coordinator today to find your fit and be a part of something truly special. The Diocese of La Crosse televised Mass, Sundays at 6.30 a.m. on this station. Please join Bishop Callahan and the priests and faithful of the diocese, Sunday mornings at 6.30 a.m.
Attention Medicare customers with diabetes. Now you can stop the painful pricking of your fingers with a continuous glucose monitor. And they're covered by Medicare if you qualify. Call right now for free information. Buy three Goodyear tires and get one free during the leap year deal at Sherrill Tire and Auto Service. Plus, get up to $200 back on a select set of four installed tires when you use the Goodyear credit card. Buy three and one is free in February. Sherrill Tire and Auto Service. Find your location at SherrillTire.com. The high school boys basketball tournament brackets were revealed this afternoon. Teams from all over the state found out what their path to Madison is, including the Rhinelander Hodags, who, taking a page out of the college playbook, watched the selection show as a team. The Hodags gathered for the selection show and are matched up with 12th seeded Hayward. While the Hodags are expected to win and advance to play Rice Lake, the players know they must not overlook their first round opponent. I mean, it's important to focus on the first game, you know, just get uh, just another game in, you know, get ready for, you know, possibly Rice Lake. Um, I think it's really important for us just to work on the things that we got to better ourselves at. Will Gretzinger scored his 1,000th career point on this go-ahead shot in Friday's win at Mosinee. While getting his 1,000th was a major milestone, Getting a big team win was what mattered most. I mean, yeah, I mean, it was it was kind of cool to look back and see that that was my thousands, but I wasn't really thinking about it during the game. I, we just wanted to win, you know, just get the win. So. Ryan Lander is still playing for a GNC championship on Thursday. Head coach Derek Lemon says that the upcoming matchup versus Medford is keeping the team focused from looking ahead to the playoffs. It's going to do a ton, and, and it's, it's really helped focus these guys the last couple weeks just because we know we still control our own destiny. We're playing for something. So these guys, are since they're playing for something tangible, they're working for something. The showdown versus the Raiders will give the winner at least a share of the conference title. Lemons is hopeful that this game will provide a playoff-like atmosphere and help prepare his team for the tournament run. I think that whole game from start to finish is going to feel like a playoff game. Um, two teams, again, playing for something that's really special and coming in prepared for each other, focused on each other. And, and both teams, I think, are going to be focused and ready to go. So it's going to have a playoff atmosphere. Bracket day is always an exciting one as teams find out their tournament journey. The brackets are out, and now the race is on to the Kohl Center and the Wisconsin State Championships. Now let's see how things played out for other teams in the playoff brackets. We start in D1. 10th seeded D.C. Everest will be on the road. They will travel to 7th seeded Hudson. 12th seeded Wausau West is on the road. They will be taking on the 5th seed in their bracket. Wisconsin Rapids will host Chippewa Falls. D2, Rhinelander. They're hosting Hayward. 6th seeded Medford hosts Anago. 7th seeded Lakeland Union hosts Menominee. Eighth seed in Merrill rounds it out, hosting Ashland. D3 features a matchup between 12th seeded Tomahawk and 5th seeded Wittenberg Burnhamwood. Ninth seeded Northland Pines takes on 8th seeded Amherst. Now to D4, 12th seeded Abbotsford will be on the road taking on Washburn. 11th seeded Chaquam Ch again will be on the road. They take on Iola Scandinavia. 7th seeded Phillips will be hosting 10th seeded Spencer. Crandon, their ninth, will be on the road against Colby. On to D5, a lot here. Top-seeded Rib Lake will be hosting 16-seeded Butternut. Six-seeded Hurley takes on 11-seeded Mellon. Prentice comes in at seventh. They'll take on Athens. 13-seeded Mercer travels to Owen Withy. Still in D5, three lakes. They're a two-seed. They take on 15-seeded Bowler. Fifth-seeded Le Leona Wabino will host 12-seeded Rocholt. Newman Catholic in 11-seed. They will be taking on White Lake. And 10th seeded Elko takes on 7th seeded Marion. Saturday was a tough day for Marquette fans. They watched their team suffer their worst loss of the season when top ranked and defending national champions UConn routed the Golden Eagles by 28. It was a balanced offensive attack for Dan Hurley's squad. Four players scored in double figures, led by sophomore center Donovan Klingen. The Golden Eagles will now look to move on from this loss as they get ready for a matchup with DePaul. On a more positive note, Bucks guard Damian Lillard was at the 2024 All-Star Game this weekend as he participated in another three-point contest. Lillard was looking to defend his title last night as three-point champion and go back-to-back -back with a win at this year's event. It wasn't as easy for Dame as he had to go through some of the best NBA sharpshooters in Trey Young and Tyrese Halliburton. But in the end, it was Dame time in Indy. Lillard able to come from behind and win the three-point contest for the second consecutive year. We'll be right back to the break. 
Whether you're just starting out looking for a change or returning to the industry, Cost Cutters will help you grow and support you in achieving your career goals. Now hiring at all locations. Visit CostCutters.com to find your nearest location. Doorbusters. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday only. Get a free ottoman with this sectional. The President's three-day doorbuster deal starts Saturday at Slumberland Furniture. Up to 60% off list. Get a free recliner with this reclining sofa. This beautiful bed, just $198. Deals this hot are while they last only, so come early. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. The President's three-day doorbuster deals only at Slumberland Furniture. Doorbusters. This is Ford Truck Month with amazing offers across an amazing lineup of Ford trucks. Make way for the event that only comes around once a year featuring the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Super Duty, the North American Truck of the Year. Get ready and get to Ford Truck Month. Now get a built Ford Tough F-150 with 1.9% APR for 72 months. See your Wisconsin Ford dealer. ELM Repair in Edgar is a family-owned and operated full-service diesel repair shop. From pickups to semi-trucks to heavy equipment and RV service. If it runs on diesel, we can repair it. Want more power and better mileage? Our experienced professionals will get your truck running and at peak performance. With a state-of-the-art dyno and fully stocked parts department, we can even come out to you with our 24-hour mobile repair service. ELM is always looking for passionate and talented people to join our team. The Diesel Doctor, have it done right the first time at ELM Repair. Buffy's Northwoods Kitchen with Buffy Jackson, a cooking show from where you live. Buffy's Northwoods Kitchen every other Wednesday live on Up North at 4. Brought to you by Bassett Jewelers and Engraving Minocqua and Eagle River Cabinets, Rhinelander and Eagle River. Hi, I'm Katie from Featherstone Cabinetry and Design. When I want my local forecast for Minocqua, I go to WJFW.com and check my hometown weather. Your hometown weather, available 24-7 at WJFW.com. Whether you're just starting out looking for a change or returning to the industry, Cost Cutters will help you grow and support you in achieving your career goals. Now hiring at all locations. Visit CostCutters.com to find your nearest location. Our News Watch 12 News team works around the clock to bring you the news that matters most to the Northwoods. NBC News Watch 12, from where you live. Well, tell us the snow is going to stay, Conrad, please. It's not. Oh. I wish I could say it is, but it's not. Yeah, we're going to get 40s back again. Just wait two more days. So. God, I thought we were in Wisconsin. I know, right? I'm planning on going skiing, but I don't know. I mean, the warm weather is really going to mess things up. You know, taking a look at our graphics, folks, look at this. Really cold temperatures for now. Not going to be here for long. Feels like temperature around 10 degrees here in town. Six in Eagle River, three in Lando Lakes. And it's going to get much colder by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow during the day, though, a nice rebound back in the mid-30s. 40s back by Tuesday. Check out Wednesday. We, were, we will see some 50s into southern and central Wisconsin on Wednesday. A little bit cooler on Thursday, still well above average. Friday, cold front comes in. And then look what happens right back into the 30s and 40s by the end of next week. Overall, though, the end of February, we're going to stay warm. Well above average everywhere. Even the northeast is going to get a taste of spring. Cold. Cold's just not coming back. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a great night. Let the Granite Shop help transform your space with new, beautiful stone and quartz countertops. Come see the uniqueness of granite or the many varieties of our quartz in our indoor showroom. Our reputation is carved in stone every day. The Granite Shop, unique products, skilled professionals, devoted service. Stay big on your entire kitchen upgrade at Menards. Clearview cabinetry is flexible by design, so you can go from doors to drawers for storage that works at every stage. And the style is so easy to update. You can do it in a snap, meaning you don't have to remodel your space to make it work even better. Save big on Clearview cabinetry. These Varsta kitchen cabinets are $28.99. Now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Hey, man, thanks for holding my beer. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, guys. I'll be here all night. You see that? What? Hey, what's up? Not much. 
I'm gonna need another beer. I swear, you're everywhere. Yeah, man, I've been busy. Everyone deserves a fulfilling job. But for people with disabilities, the barriers can be overwhelming. It's time to open the door to new possibilities.